Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be going over how to play connector not only in a 212 standard default setup but also in a 113 setup where you have one anchor B, one player in nest and then three people on A. Well, two on A and you in connector. Um, so standard 212 setup, you have to support your A player. So you're not only holding connector, but you're also watching palace. You don't want to peak ramp. All right. You're just opening yourself up to angles unnecessarily. Your uh, other A player is most likely going to be back here playing a passive angle, playing retake, or maybe on a gun round, they're going to be up on default box or even under balk. You have to be here to support your teammate's palace. If they hear steps or they're like, hey, I think somebody's palace, you have to be there to mow them down. You can also hold palace from this box and connector, uh, stand up, and you can see for a more passive um, angle, but you also want to make sure that mid is completely under control if you're holding such an angle, or else they can just run up on you and frag you, and you don't want that to happen. So, in a 1-1-3 setup, when you're the sole connector player, you don't have to worry about palace. You can hold an angle here, watching underpass. You can peek here, watching top mid. You can smoke yourself off by aiming in that corner uh, and right-clicking, and you can still see underpass fairly well. They can't see you. Um, you can see top mid fairly well. They can't see you that well. Um, obviously, this is not a one-way by any stretch of the imagination, and unless they have... Well, unless they have a top mid smoke down just a weird connector smoke that nobody threw is going to look a little strange so at least i know if i'm coming up underpass and the connector is smoked uh and i know i didn't throw it or none of my teammates threw it i'm probably going to spam right here from underpass because it's, you know somebody's probably staying there but there's still a good chance that you can win that gunfight because the person has to go through all that thought process while you're just holding this angle so now we're going to go over how to play around the common connector smokes. So there's three smokes that you're going to see. Um, one can be thrown at the start of the round from the T side. You get up on this orange flower, jump throw it, and it lands in the middle of connector. So as a CT, this is actually a great smoke for you. You can still see the cat run up entirely. Uh, you can still get all that info, and you really want to make it hard on the T's getting map control. So you're going to want to get into the smoke and just, you can even flash through it because it's going to be harder for them to see it coming um, since there's a smoke down. And that would that flash would help a cat player or a window player re-peak mid um, if they're getting shot at. Another connector smoke that is common is from underpass. They aim about here. And just, here I can throw it a little bit better. It smokes the middle of connector off right here. You can't do anything about this. You can throw a molly down. But one flash that you can throw, you don't have to be in this corner. But you're just going to throw it up. A little bit too high. You're going to throw it up. It bounces off this, and it falls right down into connector. They won't see this coming. It's going to blind them before they even know what's going on. And I would throw this right as the smoke is starting to fade. So as soon as the smoke fades, they're all blind. Um, of course, unless they're in a corner like this. And then the third smoke would be a deeper jungle smoke. Which can be thrown from underpass here. Or of course, back in um, a ramp. And this lands, smokes off jungle. Now this means as a connector player or just the overall stairs player, you are now in a 1vx situation. doesn't matter that you have a teammate there or a teammate there. You are soloed off because of the smoke. Your teammates cannot help you. So you can molly this off and wait for a rotate. Or, again, you could flash in and peek it. Or, you can even smoke it off a little bit deeper um, just to mess with them and whoever is in connector is now completely isolated. Um, one more thing is on a standard A take, 
where somebody throws here. Let's do a um, top stairs smoke. And then we can do a jungle smoke. So if the enemy team is throwing stuff like this, there will be a gap here, kind of. But what you really want to do is hold right here. Watch the people cross over to triple. There is absolutely no way that they see you there with that uh, top uh, stair smoke down. But right here, this is a great angle to help support. You can make the calls. You don't necessarily have to get the kills here, but you can make the calls on how many people to triple. And that will help your CT player who most likely is smoked off. Um, sometimes there's a gap. Yeah, I didn't throw that one with a gap. But sometimes there is a small gap here that you can see through. Um, but if they're walking up here and you're like, one's planning triple, they can easily get that frag. Or, of course, they could always try to spam through the box. That didn't spam. Um, they can try to spam through the box if you're like, one's default. Besides that, I think that really wraps it up. Uh, if you have any uh, comments adding on to this or a different pop flash, because I know this is pretty shitty. Um, you can even aim a... that was way too deep. Uh, but you can aim a little higher and that will flash a little bit better but see yeah if you have any better pop flashes than that um please feel free to comment and i will include them in a future video thank you all for watching and have a good day